Good morning, respected Thai d i s a n g a Can you hear me clear? Uh, I would like to invite everyone to move up a little bit, so I can see not empty space in front of me. So I have. Thank you. Now I can feel warm. <laughs> Respected Thai, uh, dear brother, sister, dear Sangha, today is September 11, 2 0 1 6 We are in Blue Cliff Monastery. For their mindfulness. So, 15 years ago, nearly 3,000 people has lost their life in the series of terrorist attacks. So today, this morning, I would like to invite everyone. We sit upright and relax. You can close your eyes, or you can leave eye open. <clears throat> So we will listen to the chanting from the text to praise and commemorate people who have died in the September 11, 2001. Also, we uh, praise and commemorate the people who who dies in the world today because of wars, violence, and hatred. Now we can listen. During the listen, the chanting, uh, please just go back to your breathing. Do not think anything. Let your peace energy, you send your peace energy to the people who have been passed away. This c a s e on love. She who wants to walk in peace should practice being a bright, humble, and capable of using loving speech. He or she will know how to live simply and happily with senses calm, without being c o m e And this is what he or she contemplates. May everyone be happy and safe, and may all hearts be filled with joy. May all beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong. Tall or short, big or small, invisible or visible, who are near or far away, already born or yet to be born, may all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. And no. Just as a mother loves 
loves and protects her only child at the risk of her own life. Cultivate boundless love to offer to all living beings in the entire cosmos. Let our boundless love pervade the whole universe above, below, and across. Our love will know no obstacles. Our heart will be absolutely free from hatred and enmity. Whether standing or walking, sitting or lying, as long as we are awake, we should maintain this mindfulness of love in our own heart. This is the noblest way of Those who practice boundless love will certainly transcend birth and death. Eteni sache vache ne soti te uto sabada. Eteni sache vache ne soti te uto sabada. Respected my dear brother, sister, and Sangha. I'm very happy to see uh, some people coming back to Blue Clip to visit. The song we hear is uh, sang by Sister Thang Im Chu Vao, a uh, discourse on love. You can find the books of. So last June, I have permission from my sangha uh, to go back to London visit, to visit my family. Um, when I was there, um, the, the subject of the day uh, was to live or uh, to remain in, UK, in the European Union for the British countries. And the British people, they was very exciting about, and too much, uh, 
discuss or argument about to live or to remain. Also happened in my families. We have two roof in my families. One roof uh, they vote to live, and one roof they vote to remain. And you know, my niece she asked me, which one you choose. So I told her, uh, neither, because I am a visitor. I just came back for three weeks, uh, visit fi family, so I cannot choose. And in my family, you know, the member in family also agreement and discuss too much about how the prestige, the UK, United Kingdom, live or remain, European unions. But um, finally, each side they say, oh, leave is good for UK, and the other side, remain is good for UK. But finally, we can see the result that the uh, UK, United Kingdom, leave the people, uh, most of the um, prestige people, they vote uh, for UK to leave the European Union. But after that, I came back to United States, came back to the monastery, and also we find, I find now here also we have the host, host the topic for America now is uh, who will win the election the end of this year. So the American people, yeah, you also divide into two groups, Republicans and Democrats, democracy. I don't know which, which one you choose. <laughs> uh, you answer from your heart. But for myself, you know, I still see myself as the V sister, sister of United States. So look at this happen. I recognize, I aware, most of us, most of people, we have a tendency to think either or, you know. Um, we, we have the tendency um, to compare the objects um, like Live or remain, republic, democracy, good or bad, love or hate, black or white, east or west, eastern or western, right or wrong. So this time of thinking in Buddhism called dualism. <clears throat> I would like you to write on the board. And um, we, in the Buddhist teaching, we, uh, our mind, have the habit energy to separate the object and the subject into different parts. Maybe I write here, like, good or bad. Um, beautiful or ugly, like or why? So, yeah, we continue. You know, we we always find the pair of music uh, because we. Separates the subject, the subject of perception. <laughs> and the object of perception.
So this is I, and this is you, right? Or trees, or flower, you know. I mean, anything outside of us is the object, is different, separate. I am not a tree, or father, even our beloved one, mother, husband. Uh, <laughs> I forgot the word. <laughs> okay, husband and wife and children, you know. Okay, so this is object of our perception of mind. So I am not, right? You. You are not me. So the object, first we separate the object, and then after that we compare. We have the habit energy to compare the object. In object, we compare two sides like beauty, for beauty, ugly, maybe beautiful, no? beautiful, ugly, something. So we have, uh, in my mind, we have a lot of um, discrimination in our mind. So this is the, our habit energy. Everyone has the same. So it affects you our life, affects you our political, our e economy, you know, environment, everything. So this kind of thinking, we create a lot of suffering and separation, divide, uh, despair. In the Buddhist uh, practice, um, the main thing of the Buddhist practice is how to transform your uh, dualistic thinking into uh, a middle way, yeah? into the non-dualistic. And um, also to follow the middle way. It's not too extreme. Uh, because we have, um, you know, discriminate. So that's why we, we think that, okay, your religion is not my religion, right? Your country, not my country. Your people, not my people. Your house, not my house. And also, your house is more beautiful than my house. Your car is modern than my car. Uh, you know, so we have compare and discriminate. So the practice, this is create the, uh, the world, create the suffering, uh, separation between the people and the people. So the practice, our main practice, the true practice of Buddhism is how to transform our dualistic view or dualistic thinking into non-dualistic uh, to the middle way, not too much extreme, extreme thinking. Uh, and the Buddha teach, the Buddha teaching, uh, he said that the middle way is the a noble path. So you know the a noble path is um, um, what is here, the right. Thinking, right? Right view. Right 
right mindfulness and what else who remember <laughs> right concentration we are for right speech right life hood well i love really life hood uh right diligent What the right action? So the A noble path can help us to remove our dualistic thinking, or dualistic view. But in today, I I don't share the whole A noble path. I just share about. Uh, right thinking and right view and right mindfulness. So, um, my teacher teaches us, you know, when you look at your hand, you see your father hand. Your mother hand in or inside of your hand, and um, why? Because we are our father and our mother continuations. Yes, I remember when I was uh, ten years old, and when I was a child, I. Uh, I was often sick, you know. And when I sick, my uh, my father he usually uh, put his hand on my forehead, and you know he uh, taking care of me very well. And he he can uh, uh, you know listen to your pose because he was a uh, Chinese uh, medicine before. Um, so when when I grow up and he pass away, sometimes I, I am sick, and I put my hand on my forehead. So I imagine this is my father hand, and I really see it. My father hand is in my hand. You know, I I can feel that my father still there in me. Her, his love, his care for me, you know. So this is the, um, I, I, I can see that myself and my father, we are not different. I am his continuation. He's in my body, in my blood, in my uh, love, in my heart, in my mind. So I am not different from him. But, but we are not one. We are not the same, right? <laughs> of course, we are not different, but we are not the same. So this kind of thinking, Buddhism called non-dualism. Non -dualism. Non-dualism means everything huh? is not the same or um, but is not different.
So this is the this is a very important thinking. Very important thinking. <clears throat> Because when we uh, think that everything different, you know, so we can hate the people. We can. Uh, angry the people, we can kill the people easily. You are not, you are my enemy. You are not my friends. You are not my brother and sister. You are different from me. So when you have this idea, you are not the same my people. So you can do a lot of harmful to your, to the friend. You know, you see it. So the, if we if we practice, um, we are not the same, but we are not different. Why? Because, like, uh, for example, we are the children of the Mother Earth. We are born from this Earth. Even though we are different people, you are different from me. But you are not uh, you are you are not same as me. But you are not different from me. Why? Because we are the same children of Mother Earth. We breathe the same oxygen. We have the same food from the planet, from the from the plant, from the earth, um, and. Um, We have the same feeling. Everyone have love. Everyone have painful. Even though the animal or the living being, we are not different from the tree, uh, from the mineral, from the animal. We have we have lived together from the planet, the planet, the mother earth, this planet. Uh, this earth, like the big house, you know, everyone lives in the big house, but we only di live different room, you know, like you from the north pole, I from the south pole, or the west, the east, but actually we are in the same planet, and. Um, But we didn't see. We didn't see that we are the same children of the earth. So we divide the country. We divide uh, people, and we uh, we fight for between the religions. We oppress the minority. Uh, you know, we create suffering for ourselves and for the other. So instead of we protect our mother earth, we destroy our mother earth by the way we live. Um, we uh, destroy our environments, and um, you know we we hurt each other. So the practice of uh, Non-dualism is to help us to reduce the suffering for ourselves and also to heal the the planet. Maybe we listen to one sound of the bell. <laughs> So it's not the same, but it's not different. Is the dry thinking and dry view? If you see that we are not different, this is the right view. 
when we see that we are not different, we not uh, create the enemy between each other. Um, we do not uh, too much extreme thinking, extreme uh, view, like you are not my religions, or you are not my people. You are different my culture, you are different tradition. So if we uh, practice the right thinking, right view, it helps a lot for us. My practice, you know, I want to share with you. Um, one day when I, when I was sitting at the window, and I look outside to enjoy the blue sky, the trees, and many people pass by. And you know, I, I was aware of different feelings arising in me according to each person. So the practice of mindfulness, right mindfulness, helps me to recognize, you know, what's happened right in my mind at that moment. So I can see clear that um, I have a tendency to fix uh, my idea about the person I have lived, you know, during the time I lived with them before. So I put them in my, in the box, in my mind. Okay, just imagine this is your brain, right? <laughs> and how to, it's very ugly, but you know, <laughs> maybe the brain is bigger. <laughs> How you draw it? I'm not good drawing. Uh, yeah? Okay. So you have so many boxes in here. You know when you when you live with someone for little times and the way you live with that you have reaction, interaction talking, relationship, love, hatch. So you fix your idea of that person in this box. Okay, I imagine this box is love. And this is hatch. This like, uh, this is um, neutral, neutral mean not hate, not love, not lie, uh, ang angry, anger. I mean, each person you have a different perception about according to the person you live with, you have interaction. And I can see that I have a fixed idea, or in other words, say prejudice. Prejudice, when you have prejudice from someone, you put that person in this box, this box. And with our prejudice, we think that, okay, this person like this forever. This is our tendency, our mind, and we think this person forever like that. Uh, she's so much, you know, it's like, she's uh, so much um, happy or he, laugh too loud, or she speak too loud, or he's, she very quiet. Or, you know, every person you have the box in here. And my teacher said, sometimes we have, uh, when we went shopping, I remember I, when I share one, one thing. When we went out shopping, we want to buy the shoe. And we think, oh, this shoe, I like it, it's the right, for me. But I said, no, actually you are not the one to choose the shoe, but the shoes choose you. Because you have in your mind the box, of, you know, this box, 
Okay, this is your style. So, okay, I like this show, Meryl Sue, more than Nick's on <laughs> balance on you. I like this man with a beard, tall, brown skin, health, healthy. I like this woman, beautiful, with big eye and feminine and attractive. <laughs> So you have the style in your mind in the box. So if when you see someone, you say, oh, it's right in my box. And you, then your um, tendency, when you love something or someone, your tendency, what you want to do? You want to possess, for example, you like the shoe. So I have to buy this shoe. Then you try to have money and you get the shoe back to your putting yourself shoe, shoe self. <laughs> so the same thing when you love someone, for example, when a man uh, the first time meet the woman and he fall in love. In, in Vietnamese, we say, think that I done, it means tender love. <laughs> when you see someone, you have thunder in your mind. So, okay, this is the right style, my style, this woman or this man. And then you try to, to possess to how to make that woman or that man uh, love you, you know. So this is the tendency, uh, the, the habit energy. Also, when we want to have um, a position, or like now, the people they like to want to become a president. They have to do anything to get the chair. You know, they have to find any way to win the election, even though they can do anything. You know, for each other. And so this is creates a lot of suffering. And so my practice. <clears throat> My practice of mindfulness, I learned from my teacher. Then I uh, summarize into four steps. Because when I aware of my prejudice in my boxes, I practice to transform my prejudice, uh, my fixed idea about things or people. I have four steps. I want to share with you my practice. So the first is my practice is recognizing. Recognize, seeing, emotion. My emotion or my thinking So breathing in, I am aware that I like this person or this thing, you know, I like this person. Beating out, I aware, I am aware, I want to possess this person or things. So, you know, this is the object of our perception. This is the object, and this is the subject, yeah? So this is just an example. The example is you recognize what's arise in your mind, like or dislike, 
Okay, the second, you, we can do the same, but we just do opposite. Uh, opposite uh, the object of pre, um, perception, breathing in. I, I aware, I am aware, I like, sorry, I, I need to put here. I am aware. Yeah? I am aware I mean I am aware I like this. So now breathing in, I am aware. I am angry. This person. Now we come to another emotion. Angry, anger. I am aware. I am angry. This person. Or I dislike, you know. This is the negative uh, emotion. So breathing out, I am aware I have a tendency to push the person I hate, I dislike away from me. Yeah? I am aware. I have a tendency to push away. This person. Sometimes we have a tendency to push away but people we dis dislike, but we didn't know. You know, we didn't know. We just do it, we do, we do without, uh, uh, without ignorance. In Buddhism, called ignorance. So this practice, uh, first you recognizing, you know, what's happened in your mind. This is the practice of mindfulness. Uh, mindfulness, they have the four establishment of mindfulness. The first is body. Second feeling, the third is mental formation, and the fourth consciousness. But here I want to share about our um, mental formation, our feeling, our mental formation. And the second uh, step is uh, looking deeply. You know, this practice, this kind of um, thinking is not only me. It's everyone has the same, right? We are not different, even though we are not the same, but we are not different. So the second... Um, The second step is um, rec recognizing. The second step is uh, looking deeply. Okay. So, with the person I love, or with a person I hate, or I dislike, they are impermanence. They are changing all the times. You know, when we love someone, we would like that person have to be like this, like this, like that. And we want to uh, present that person, or we want that person have to do what you want. Like when you love your son or your daughter, you want your son or your daughter to become uh, this or that, of had to do what you want, but maybe here your son and your daughter, they cannot satisfy your wish, you know, and then you get angry. And uh, the person you hate also, you hate him or her, or you dislike him or her, because he and she not smiled to me last week, or uh, he or she, 
uh, you know, why they do not nice to me. You know, like, okay, uh, when everyone, he smile, he's so joyful, but with you, he's not happy. So you feel uh, something, you know, inside of you, you, you have internal formation. So, but we didn't know that person, maybe last week, uh, he or she have something happen to him or her. That's why he or she cannot smiling to you. Or maybe he or she carry the misperception about what's happened. But the next week after that, he or she change. And then one day you see him or her smile to you. And you know, oh, today she nice. Today I give you a piece of cake. And you know, oh, you're so good, nice. But if he or she call to you and you say, oh, he is she not nice, you know? <laughs> when I told, share with my sister that, oh, he is very nice because he give me a piece of cake. Mm-hmm. And my younger sister said, oh, because he give you a piece of cake, so you think he's nice. You know, so we just feel someone nice when they are good to you, but when they are bad, you said, oh, that is the bad person. So when we're looking deeply, we can see the impermanence. In each people we conduct with, and the Buddha said, um, maybe this is the access. Impermanence. Okay. So um, the Buddha said that uh, all phenomena in this world is impermanence, are impermanence, right? And uh, we can see that uh, everything is changed every day, it cannot be the same. So if we see like that, um, we will understand the person we love or we hate. They have their personality, they have their um, situation, Um, they have their aspiration, they have their wish, and uh, also the mind are changing every minute. The person you see today, maybe, is not the same the person you see yesterday. The mind is changing. So that's why the Buddha says, all phenomena are impermanent in this world. And the second is um, cause and condition. You know, everything we see is it depends on the condition. Um, you know, maybe yesterday she very healthy, strong, but when she drive the bicycle and she got accident and she lie on the bed, she not healthy anymore. Why? Because the condition is the accident by bicycle. She fell from the bicycle. So she's not strong, healthy anymore. So the condition is very important. <clears throat> when uh, the condition is there, we cannot escape everyone the same in the world. When the condition, when the, the flower is not water, the flower will be fresh. And uh, the table, Beautiful today is the condition by Sister Thangim uh, decorating, uh, by the brother watering the, f- the water flower, so the orchid flower fresh, because the condition are there, so the flower are fresh and beautiful. But if no one water flower, the flower will die, right? So if the condition is not 
there, everything turned different. So we look at our love and our hate. They also, they live with the cause of condition. Maybe she, she he's a, a violent person. He's a, a very, um, you know, angry because his environment is not, when he grow up in the environment, not healthy. Uh, he not good education, education, you know. So if we look at the person we hate, we will see. We need to see, you know, the whole picture of the person we love or we hate, and we can, uh, you know, remove our perception about the person we love or we hate. So. Um, The third one is the understanding. So when we um, when we looking deeply, we understand uh, the the true nature of the object of our perception. We see the true nature. So the one we love, if the first time when we love too much, we have passion and we suffer, we want to possess. But when we look at the true nature, our love will be less passion. And now the love is more understanding. And so this is our teacher said it's true love. True love. Your understanding born to love. Because you see the true nature of the people you lo we love. And we know that he or she, they need the space. And he or she, they have the aspiration, uh, you know, their wish. So we give them space and times. And also the person we hate. We dislike when we understood why he or she do the bad thing to you, and then when you understand, you have love for that person. You 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 change from hatred to love. Love here is like compassion, yeah, or loving kindness. So you. Um, forgive, um, you know, the person who make you suffer. Mm. I know that's one of my friends. She was abused by her father. And she was, you know, have the hedge, hedges. Her mother, her father, very much. But uh, when she shared that her father lived in the environment, not very healthy, and he grew up in the family with the parent on the uh, punish him, teach him, drink wife. So when he grew up, he used his children like. He not beat, but he abused another thing, like sex abuse. So, so when this friend she practiced and she understand, you know, she understand why his father like that. His her father like a victim, a victim of the environment. So he forgive, she forgive her father, you know, and so he she love. Um, her father. So when we understand the true nature, and then we can transform our uh, our perception. Okay. 
And also we um, we can see that um, every one of us, you know, every one of us have uh, go through our uh, up and down, and uh, and someone can be have a day when they are open their hearts and generous, but next day they could facing the challenge and they could become mean and angry. So the same with us. Today we are so joyful, nice, we, everyone is smiling and you know, very kind, generous. But tomorrow I, I can be uh, like my fellow. Don't look at me, don't touch me. And you, and you get angry easily, and you're so mean. So even us, some, we also change. Sometimes we are so nice person, but sometimes we are so horrible person. So the other people also the same. Then we, we know that, we, we understand, then we can, uh, you know, can love and forgive. And we can see that every one of us, we have mud and lotus inside. We have a negative part and the positive. But the practitioner, the practitioner is how to transform the mud into the lotus. Now you see the lotus flower upon in front of meditation hall. You see that the lotus flower is only grow in the mud. And without mud, the lotus cannot grow. So when we have some negative seed inside, we can transform into a positive. You know, we can be a, a, a happy person. And you know, this my, my teacher also say that uh, no mass, no lotus. So if we can see that, we can um, hope for the future, you know? hope for the person who make the terrible thing. That person can change and can transform from the negative to the positive. And also negative and positive is uh, dualistic thinking. Um, so when we saw like this, we, this is the right thinking and the right view, yeah? And the four, the third, one, two, three, four, the four, is uh, let go. <laughs> For me, it's the let go or letting go, very important, you know? When we, um, we very suffering about our dualistic view. We're suffering about that. But when we go through the process of recognizing, looking deeply, understanding, and then finally you feel liberated, let go. And now I let go my ang angry, uh, my anger to that person. I let go my attachment to the person to my ideals, to my um, perception, to the or to the person I love too much, or to the person I hate, I dislike, I let go. Now I feel free. My mind really free, free of anger, free of attachment. So let go is free. The practice of myself, the last is let go, very important. After you go through the process of recognizing, looking deeply, understanding, when you're understanding and your mind free, I let go. And it's like you carry very heavy, you know, a burden in your shoulder. And now you put it down on the earth before you carry a lot of luggage and you feel very heavy, 
And now you put it down and you feel very light and you walk freedom on the earth. So the practice of let go also very important. And we remove all the dualistic thinking about people, about the things. Um, okay. I have one story I want to share with you. Um, you know, there's a man from a, a village in the valley. He climbed up to the top of mountain to visit an old hermit. When he arrived, he was surprised to see that in the hut there's nothing, only a sleeping mat and a cushion. So he asked the hermit, dear hermit, dear master, uh, where are all your belongings? How can you live? The, the hermit replied with the question, how about you? Why have you carried so little with you today up to the mountain? And the man's answer, I am just visiting. Uh, it would be heavy to carry too much stuff with me on the way up to the mountain. And the hermit replied, I am, I am also just a visitor of this world. Why do I need to accumulate many things to carry? I am just visiting this world for 70, 80 years. Maximum is 100 years. Then I will leave this world with my hands empty. But you know, most of us, we are fight for love. We are fight for our country. We fight for our religions. We fight for the position, for our honor, for our ideals. We fight through our whole life, lives. But at the end, we will live this life with empty hands. You know, even the, the, the emperor of China, he's so powerful, but and finally he also lived this world with empty hands. So right now we forgot, we forget the wonder of life is available in the present moment. So the practice of mindfulness can help us to um, recognize the, the wonder of the present moment, the miracle of the beautiful thing around us, um, the people we love, um, So please, if we practice the right thinking and right view and right mindfulness, so we can remove our extreme thinking, uh, dualistic thinking and dualistic view, and we can live in the uh, beautiful and present moment, and we enjoy for our, the end of life. So when we live this life, with our hands empty, but we are full of the honor wonder in our consciousness. Thank you for your listening today. <laughs>